birthday is quickly approaching and I've got a few days of PTO scheduled and the weather is looking sort of nice out for today. So what better way to spend it than head out into the woods and get some camping in. Going to be going to one of my favorite spots in Arkansas, right in the smack dab part of the Ozarks near the Ponca Jasper area. Anyways, just after 5.30, got a big dinner planned up for tonight, super excited to make it. Not really had much of a chance to go camping since Maddie and I have been back from our road trip out west, so you already know we're finna fully capitalize on this situation and take complete and utter advantage of it. Anyways, got about a two and a half hour drive left, gonna continue on on the interstate for a bit before we get off and head up north, so see you on a bit. about 7 30 and i had to make a quick little pit stop car is right back there and one of the things that this area is known for is all of the beautiful elk there's a few different little fields down here that usually have some elk in it if you come through at the right timing and lucky for us, we have came through at the right time. Typically, I do not see them that early on at that field. That's like the first one that we've came to, so maybe that is a good sign. But that was quite a bit, so I don't know that the other fields are going to be that packed. But anyways, glad we saw a few. Going to continue on and got about 30-ish minutes to the campsite. I have successfully made it to Horseshoe Canyon Ranch. It is just after 7.30, a little over 40 degrees, and a little overcast out right now, hoping the sun kind of stays away and the rock stays shaded all day. Gonna get everything unloaded and go hop on some climbs. See you on a sec. All right, time for some bouldering. See y'all when I get back. All right, so I've been climbing just over three hours. It's a little after 11 a.m. Gonna go ahead and get the rooftop tent popped up, have a little snack, take a rest, and get some more climbing in before it gets dark. Time for a snack and some rest. I'm not gonna lie, I have definitely been too lazy to make a snack just yet, and instead I am sitting here chilling on my crash pad couch, just enjoying these nice views. 
little to no people at the ranch today got it basically all to myself no camping neighbors as of right now maybe it'll stay that way if not so be it anyways gonna relax here a little bit maybe like another hour or so then probably go climb for another hour or two then come back and make an early dinner It is just after 2 p.m. and for the last 30 to 45-ish minutes, I have just been laying here enjoying some views and this nice weather in my hammock. I did go over to that side of the ranch. <clears throat> Took about 20, 25-ish minutes to walk over there. Didn't take my crash pads. I just wanted to go get an idea for some climbs that I've never hopped on. And when I got back, I decided I just wanted to rest and relax for the rest of the day. I don't really do that, especially when I'm by myself. I tend to kind of go, go, go. And so I figured it would be nice just take some time enjoy these last few hours of daylight relax read a little bit enjoy nature gonna hang out here wait maybe an hour or two then make a fire and whip up some dinner see y'all in a bit tonight on the menu white chicken chili let's get cooking Let's actually turn it off for a second until we have our concoction whipped up. Probably should have brought a bigger pot, but hey, we're still cooking, gonna make it work. Tone the serving size down a little bit, but it is still pretty large, as you can see. Uh, anyways, gonna wait on that to boil, and then once it does, gonna throw some cream cheese in, let that go for about five minutes, and then let it simmer till it's all melted. So, see y'all in just a sec. Gonna let that boil with the cream cheese in it for about five minutes and then after that lower the heat a little bit and wait for the rest of the cream cheese to melt see you on just a sec lowering the heat until the rest of the cream cheese melts but honestly uh, there's still a tiny bit i was gonna say it looks like it's all done but i think we're gonna need to leave it at just a couple more minutes All right, we are gonna call this good. All 
All right, time to let that cool for a second, and then we feast. Ooh, might as well go ahead and get a fire made while we're waiting on that to cool. That looks like a fairly generous serving size, yeah. Coke is not my first soda of choice, but that is all they had at the guest ranch, so that's what we're rocking with right now. If it was up to me, Mountain Dew or Dr. Pepper would be what I would choose, but hey, it is what it is. This white chicken chili is totally making up for it. The recipe is actually in courtesy of a subscriber, and that subscriber is my wife, Maddie. Shout out to you, Maddie. Love you. Mwah. This white chicken chili is bussing right now by this fire. <laughs> all right, back to munching. Cheers. This is so good. It is for sure getting a 10 out of 10 right now. I have been craving this and I do not think I could have picked a better meal to make tonight. Oof, that last scoop. A little more. <sighs> I absolutely annihilated that food. I was so hungry. I'd had a sausage McMuffin this morning at like 5 a.m. ish, maybe like 5.30, and then I had a bowl of granola maybe around like 11.30, and that has been it. So that bowl of white chicken chili, that did me right. I'm gonna continue sitting here for a bit. I think it's around 5 p.m., probably a little after, maybe like 5.15. The sun is setting as you can see. I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this fire for a bit. Also earlier, right after I finished making the food and was letting it cool, it started raining a little bit. There wasn't any in the forecast today. It was supposed to be clear until tomorrow. Luckily, it didn't stay too long, just like maybe 15, 20-ish minutes, but got everything packed up real quick. And then by the time I had it packed up and got into the tent, it was basically done. So came back out, ate the food, and here we are, enjoying this nice fire, these nice views, and the sounds of nature. Very, very peaceful and just how I wanted to spend my night. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not right now, but it did start sprinkling again, and I really don't feel like taking a shower. Um, lucky for y'all, there is not smell vision right now, so we are good to go at least for now. But uh, yeah, hopped up in the tent. Just enjoying a nice, pretty little view of the fire. Got my little comfy space down there, and we are kicked back, big chilling. I was hoping to sleep with the top tarp thing open, but uh, I don't think I'm doing that with how it's been sprinkling. Might sleep with the front one open still, but who knows? It's only about 5.45 right now, but I did not get too much sleep last night. Fell asleep a little after midnight. Woke up at like 4, I believe it was. Maybe just before. But it has been a good, successful day, and tomorrow I think I'm going to get up and leave here pretty early and go on a hike before I head home. So should be fun. Typically, I would not choose this to come and camp at. I would go somewhere else, but I've got three reasons why I did come here today. First, climbing. Super, super, super easy access to climbing. All you can want here. Two, it is very pretty still, and lucky for me today, it is not busy at all. I believe I'm the only one here camping right now. And three, which is pretty much the final reason that made me come here. 
and that is that my tires have just over 43,000 no not just over 43 they've got almost 44,000 miles on them currently and so yeah they are needing a replacement and the dirt road into here is very mild and only about a mile or just over the other spots that I know in the area have a little bit longer and rougher road so didn't want to chance it and have a flat with no service anyways gonna continue laying here just big chilling got a fire going in the back laying out watching it um sprinkles weren't enough to put it out so yeah might hop back out in a minute if that stops and enjoy that for a little bit longer it is currently just after midnight i kind of dozed off uh, probably about 9 30 ish i laid here for a little over three hours i had kind of passed right the heck out and here we are gonna try to get a few more hours of sleep and then see you out in the morning all right good morning it is just before 5 a.m and as i'm sure y'all can hear it is a little rainy out not too bad right now just sprinkling which it's kind of been doing all night I was really hoping to get up and go on a hike today, but I don't think that is in the cards today. So, gonna wait for a break in the rain and get everything packed down and see what else I can find to get myself into. Probably just gonna end up going on a drive or something, find some pretty views, which shouldn't be too hard in this area. But, I will see y'all in just a sec when I decide and get this packed down. But, I am gonna lay here just a little bit longer. It is feeling perfect out right now i've got the front flap open and the side flap with this one and the side one being open i had pretty good airflow all night i don't think it got below 40s it might have i know the high for yesterday was like 47 48 ish but i don't think it got down much lower than about 41 42 and currently i am in my zero degree sleeping bag don't have it zipped up but it is thrown over and then i've also got this uh ozark trail blanket from walmart so uh yeah i am staying pretty warm right now but anyways just gonna lay here relax listen to the rain for a little bit and see y'all once i get this all packed down and get on the road goodness that was a good sleep now time to get the tent packed down and get out of here It is right at 7.30 and I'm heading out of the ranch. Ended up waiting till around 6.50ish to get out of the tent. As I'd mentioned prior, I'm very go, go, go. And since I wasn't able to get up and go hiking this morning, I figured why not just lay there, relax and enjoy it. And that is what I did for about two and a half, maybe three hours or so. I don't know, maybe more. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but my birthday is coming up in just a few days. And so I'd scheduled a few days of PTO and this is how I wanted to spend it. I did check the weather and it wasn't supposed to rain any yesterday or today until like later in the day but hey it is what it is had a great time climbing camping relaxing just enjoying it and yeah I think all in all it was a successful trip I'm counting it as a win the food was very bussin um once again shout out to my wife Maddie for the recipe as always thank you all for watching have a great rest of the day till next time peace